everybody, this is uh, Tech Comics. Um, my voice sounds funny because I'm coming down with a cold or getting rid of a cold. Um, I think a lot of it has to do with the problem I have with my tooth. Um, I just found out not too long ago that I have to go in and uh, they have to shave down my tooth and put on a cap because I got three cracks in it. So it's like, you know, constantly leaking whatever into my mouth and it's making me sick. Um, and hopefully I can get in there soon. Um, but before I started really having problems with my tooth, I was able to go to a, oops, go to a Comic Con in Portland, and uh, I went up there mainly to, to hang out with my bro, uh, AG Surfer. It was really cool, and my son, um, Web Slinger, but everybody knows him as Isaiah too. Uh, he he really loves his uncle AG, so it was cool. He he really wanted to go, and I wanted to take him too. So. And there was a couple of uh, artists there that I wanted to meet uh, and hopefully get autographs from. And I only got an autograph from uh, one artist, and that was Randy and one uh, because, sorry, I just cut my hand or something. Um, see, I'm drinking my blood, vampire. Um, but anyways, I did get to meet uh, Merv Wolfman, um, or Marv Wolfman. He's a great guy. Um, I wanted to get some of his autographs too. I had a bunch of books that I brought with me to get signed by him, but you know, they, the con was from five, okay, five to uh, 10, and that's the closing time on Friday. And then Saturday and Sunday, it was gonna go from 10 to 10. I couldn't go Saturday because I had to go to a wedding. So basically, uh, from Friday all the way to uh, <coughs> Saturday morning, I only got an hour of sleep. Because um, when I came home from the con, I only got an hour of sleep. I had to go to work, and I got home from work. I went right to my, my friend's uh, daughter's wedding. Uh, There's no way I was going to miss that because I remember her when she was just real little, when she was like six or seven years old. So I couldn't miss that wedding. Um, and then I came home, and I was just oh, I felt like junk. And I had to go to work the next day too. So, uh, but the con was great. Um, I just suggest if you ever go to Portland for Comic Con, don't get lost, and if you do, do not veer to the left because you will go to this little town and get stuck behind a train for an hour and wait for this train to get moving after an hour. Um, it, it was, that, that about killed me. Um, but the con, like I said, the con was great. I got to meet uh, a bunch of nice people. Um, one of them was, uh, I got to uh, meet the, the creator of uh, Alex Miracle. Uh, they did a whole, uh, interview with him for the Portland Comic Con. He seemed like a nice guy. I went up and talked to him. Yeah, he was he was just nice. I wanted to go back and grab some of his books too, but you know, I didn't get a chance to. But you know, he's 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 kind of the local guy, so maybe I can do that. And plus I got his website information, so I wouldn't mind uh, ordering some of his books. Here's another one of his uh painters, um, Foxfire. And uh yeah, this, this one, this was the one I was like, I told him, I said, I like this character. He looks really cool. He looks interesting. So he gave me a free pen and everything, so I got it on my backpack of this character here, which is cool. Here's his uh, website information. He, he's a nice guy. Down-to-earth guy, man. Gave my son a bunch of free stuff, too. Um, here was an artist that I came across. This guy can paint, man. That's just a snippet of what he can do. This guy's phenomenal. Um, there's his business card stuff. Um, and Randy was awesome too, like always, man. I had to give a couple shout outs to some YouTubers. <coughs> and then here's another one. Uh, this is uh, Warren Montgomery. He's a comic book colorist, letterist, and publisher. So I want to show off his card too. Um, and then there was this uh, people, they were at a table and they were just some kind of random knickknacks and they had four boxes, four short boxes of comic books and I found out later that those books that were up there were one of the gentlemen's behind the counter's personal collection he was just selling them uh, and, the, and he asked the girl, I don't know if it was his wife or what, to price it for him so she priced all the books, she didn't do bad on pricing I was kind of stoked to find though the first appearance of Doomsday uh, I think they had it for five or two bucks but everything was 50% off so you know, I got it for less but this is their uh, business right here I told them I'd definitely uh, put their stuff on my video, let everybody know if you guys want to check them out. Uh, they, I think they still have more books, so you know, they definitely go check them out. Um, and this was just the flyer that they gave us when I went to the con. You know, the lettering here isn't all that bad. I can read that print. You know, <laughs> you open it up. Okay, here's a map of the whole layout. Okay, 
And I tell you what, I was trying to find over here the letters like A13, A21. I could not find them. I had to take a picture of it with my phone and then zoom in so I could see where the artists were. And what was nice was like Randy, uh, Danny Fingeroff, and uh, Marv who were all pretty much near each other. So that was cool. Um, and on this list too, it didn't show Marv's name on there. I knew he was going to be there, but then I, that's what kind of like frustrated me. I'm thinking, God, I hope he's okay because usually if you don't see their name on these, then they either called it off or the guy, you know, came down with some kind of illness. And you know, I, I know there was a lot of stuff floating around the air. Um, <clears throat> sorry if this video is going to be long, guys. I'll try to get to my books. Um, so yeah, I I got to meet Merv. I didn't get his autograph though, which sucked because um, I had a time crunch between five and ten, and I was trying to find books for my son so he can get signed by Randy. Um, and then, you know, I just got caught up. I was trying to find the right vendors to get the right books, you know, at, the, at a decent price because I didn't want to spend too much. Um, plus, I wanted to get some prints from Randy, um, which I did. I'll show in another video because this video is going to be long. Or maybe I'll cut this one and put up two. <laughs> but um, <clears throat> I took a list with me. Um, I took what I need for the web of Spider-Man. I don't know if you can really see that. And some of it's in blue and some of it's black. But as you can see on that list, I was able to mark off a pretty good amount of uh, books that I needed for that run. Uh, so I'm trying to complete that run. And that was the thing. There were some places they didn't really have those. Or like this one guy asked him about the X Factor. And he says, yeah, I got X Factor. I was so excited. I went to just go start digging. And I'm like, I don't see any here. And he goes, oh, that's in the long box I didn't bring. I'm like, crap. So I was able to get a few X Factor books, but not a lot. Um, and then, of course, that's my list of all the artists that were going to be there. I always take down notes of what books and issues they did. Um, I did that with Randy especially because I wanted to write down all the ones that he did the inking work on or any artwork on for uh, Amazing Spider-Man or Web of Spider-Man. So I did that, you know, uh, right here is, see, I was only able to mark off one book for X Factor, which I believe I got the annual number two because that was the only X Factor book I could find, I think. I can't remember. Um, but those are all the X Factor numbers that I need right there uh, on the very top um, and my transformers and then I tried to also write down other dates so I figured if I had this it would be easier for me to try to keep grabbing my phone because I one that I didn't want my battery die out because I wanted to get some footage which I only got a little bit of footage which sucked man um, so yeah I had to say I didn't get as many X factors as I wanted to but I know I can get them um, I don't think I need to show the Bane drawing or you know, to show for it. This is all I was able to do last time. Um, I still got a lot more to do. That's pretty much what I got done. I'm, I'm hoping tomorrow I feel a little bit better. I can come out here and really just start knocking out some stuff, uh, get some things done. Maybe what I'll do is I'll do two videos. So what I'll do is I'll just show you real quick when I did get signed by Randy. Um, just a few things and then I'll show you what my, what my brother AJ hooked me up with which is just amazing um, he said oh I got a few things for you and a few things turned out to be more than I expected um, but I, I, I've been taking my pops lately because I've been getting Randy to sign him I did the Iron Spider-Man and I'm signing in gold which is pretty sweet um, and then I got him to sign uh, <clears throat> I had the black suit Spidey with me and I also had uh, the Venom and I forgot to bring those in See, I forgot a lot of stuff, man. Next time I think I'll do is I'll just, I'll just suck it up and go on a Saturday. That way at least I got from 10 to 10. Um, here's Scarlet Spider. I had him sign it in blue. Yeah, he has such a great signature, and he's such a nice guy, man. Seriously, down-to-earth nice guy. I mean, like I said, he gave a free sketch to my son. Um, and then he did, some, he did some really cool stuff for AG, which I, don't, I won't talk about because I want my brother to be able to show those. Um, then I did get Spider-Man 2099. I got that signed by Randy also. I got it signed in red. It's just sweet. And, you know, these ones, the boxes are a little bit bigged up. So that's why, you know, I, was, I, I should have brought the better ones. But I, I was in a rush. I got off work, had to get my stuff together and get out the door and go get my son. Um, to stick with the pop theme. And then I'll stop this video and I'll, I'll shoot another vid. Um, <clears throat> my brother hooked me up with this, which is just fantastic, man. Uh, it's a Walgreens exclusive, The Joker. Um, that's just awesome. And I believe it goes with my uh, set that I had uh, before. Um, of course, this is the variant uh, to The Joker um, for the Bat. Because I have the Batman number one, I have the uh, Wonder Woman number eight. Um, 
then he hooked me up with this and I told him I wasn't sure if I had it already and I think I do so I told him if I have it already I'm gonna give it back to him but uh, Black Panther Unmasked I believe so comics sent me this one well, I know he did in fact I know he did um, I just put away all my pops and like said I didn't have enough time to go through everything and, and see what I had when I already didn't have so my brother would have to give me so much stuff you know because I'm only positive he gave me one of these already and I told him if he did I'm gonna give this back to him but it's the Colossus Chrome you know because if my brother already gave me something or already got something from somebody like that I'm, I'm gonna you know give it back to him kind of thing um, Cause my, like I said, I think my brother hooked me up with this. He said, oh, don't worry about it, man. If I already gave you one, just keep it. And I said, no, if you know somebody that needs it, I'll, I'll give it back to you, man. Uh, this was one I passed up on, and I told him, so I know I don't have this one at all, just like the Joker. Um, but this is the Spider-Man uh, stealth suit. It's Hot Topic, which is cool. So I'm glad I got this one. So, yeah, I'll just put this video to an end, and then I'll put up another video in a few minutes. All right, guys. Take care. Tech Comics and rock on.